Motion can be of two types. A uniform motion, something like this. Or a non-uniform motion, something like this. I'm sorry, we are here to learn about physics. Uniform motion is when an object travels equal distances in equal amounts of time. Let's look at this car. You can see that this car is moving forward. In the first hour, it covers 60 kilometers. In the second hour, it adds another 60 kilometers to its journey. In the third hour, again, it adds 60 kilometers and so on. So this is an example of a uniform motion. In non-uniform motion, the object covers unequal distances in equal amounts of time. Just like this car. You can see that this car, like the first car, it is traveling 60 kilometers in the first hour. But then suddenly it starts moving slowly. In the second hour, it is only covering 30 kilometers. In the third hour, it starts moving faster and now it covers 90 kilometers in the third hour. So this form of motion, when the object is covering unequal distances in equal amounts of time, is termed as non-uniform motion. Now let's look at this a little more closely. Let's look at the first example again. We saw that the car was traveling 60 kilometers in every hour. But let's zoom into the first hour. If you see closely, in the first half an hour, it traveled 20 kilometers and not 30, only 20 kilometers. And in the next half an hour, it traveled 40 kilometers. It was true that in, the, in every hour it is adding 60 kilometers. But do you still think it's a uniform motion? It's not. Because the definition says it travels equal distances in equal amounts of time. The time could be anything. It could be 5 seconds, it could be half an hour, it could be 1 hour, it could be 5 hours. So what we are trying to say is no matter how small is the time duration, the distance traveled has to be the same. Little bit of time duration, the next moment it has to be the same distance. So what we are saying is that the speed should be constant. It should be a uniform speed. When an object is moving with uniform speed, it is termed as uniform motion. When the object is moving with a non-uniform speed, it is termed as non-uniform motion. The formula for speed is very simple. It's termed as V is equal to S upon T. S is the distance traveled, T is the time taken. The SI unit for speed is meter per second. But you would observe that in the life around us, all the daily objects that we see around, mostly we deal with non-uniform speed, like your bikes, your cars. You know, we keep varying the speeds of all these vehicles. So in order to deal with such practical situation and understand motion of such movements, we have a simpler term called the average speed. Average speed's formula is equal to the total distance traveled divided by the total time duration. It does not matter how big the time duration is and it does not matter if the speed is going up and down. If it's, even if it's a non-uniform motion, you can still use this formula. Average speed's SI unit is also meters per second. Now let's understand the concept of speed and average speed with the help of our earlier example. We saw that the car was traveling. For the first half an hour, it covered 20 kilometers. For the next half an hour, it covered 40 kilometers. Overall, it was a non-uniform motion. But if you only consider a period of 30 minutes and 30 minutes, we can call them as uniform motions individually. So we'll talk about speed in this zone, speed in this zone, and average speed for this total duration. So we'll call the speed for the first zone as V1. The formula for speed that we saw was distance upon time. Distance traveled was 20 kilometers. Time taken was half an hour, which is 0.5. So we get our speed for the first zone, for the first 30 minutes, as 40 kilometers per hour. In the next section, if we calculate the speed V2, that will be distance upon time. Distance traveled was 40 kilometers. Time taken was again 0.5. So the speed comes out to be 80 kilometers per hour. Now let's look at the average speed for this total duration. The formula for average speed was total distance traveled upon the total duration. It does not matter if the speed was changing in between. The total distance traveled was 60 kilometers. The total time taken was one hour. So the average speed is 60 kilometers per hour. 